But someone else who I'd wonder would you take their advice when it comes to relationships is Ajalango. Because even him and his boys club have been all up in the streets. But you know what? It's okay. As Lily has said, people pray and change, yeah. okay? And God has transformed people. And you know what? Now, <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> now he has given advice on relationships. And according to him, if you are in a relationship right now with somebody who is just your boyfriend or your girlfriend, you are not yet married, do not even bother trying to give that partner your house keys. Because apparently it's going to be a struggle when you finally break up. And he said, basically, um, when a girl you have broken up with tells you to give me the key, I go collect my stuff. Do not. You will find all your sufriyas to belewad, broken plates and TVs even worse. Uh, she puts Omo in your unga ya ugali. Basically what he's saying, don't even bother. Once you give her the key, when, when she asks for the keys, once you've broken up, number one, don't give them to her. Mm -hmm. And then number two, just don't give the keys so you don't have this situation of trying to, you know, hand over keys and everything. Here's my take on it. Of course, you never break up with someone and say, here's my most prized belongings take. <laughs> Does that make any sense? It you know, not. I have broken your <laughs> heart. Whatsoever. I have broken your heart. I've been so horrible to you. Even if I'm just, it was a nice amicable breakup. But oh yeah, honey, I'm not going to be home. You can go pick up your things from inside my house and then leave the keys at that scary. No, do not do that. Definitely go ahead. In that breakup, say, hi, baby. Please give me back my keys. Yeah. <laughs> and I think most times, especially for a situation for a woman, even once I'm broken up with or if um, I'm breaking up with someone, that's the first thing I do. I've already given back my bags, I mean my keys and everything. I've already packed up all my belongings. As I'm ready to go. You break up with me today. I'm telling you today, today, I am packing up my things and, and leaving your Better house. You I am not going to go and see, come back a week later, a month later. I don't know what. See, I left my sufuria over there. I left my toothbrush. There's like a dress. No, anything that's left over there is going to stay there. And I actually have hope. But you see, that's you. That's yeah. You. There's some women out here who will not go with their things. Mm -hmm. Like they want to break up with you so that you step up. Mm. And they don't really want to break up with you. They just I say like, guy. eh, it to break up. One and a kid go one week hoping that you will call them. One and three week one, will you call me? Or Akilili sometimes me? you give bad advice. No, 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 it's true. It's true. And women are like that. Most ah. women are like, tell so those are the ones that, that you don't give the key? No. No. You see, before you give someone that key, did you ask them? Did you tell them that I want to give you this key? We just went on and on and we're keys? talking about the breakup no. points. Everything is nice and lovely now in the honeymoon really? stage. Okay, we wait. have broken okay, up Okay, you've broken up right now, and I still have the key to your house, uh -huh. right? Uh -huh. So the best thing to do is to change locks immediately. <laughs> For what reason? <laughs> so that if I'm crazy, you know, it depends on the lady. If she was a crazy one, you need to change the locks immediately. <laughs> so that when she comes back, Anna Kungojiapo Kwamlango. And when she tells you that I'm coming for my stuff, please have someone else in the house because you know how these things might end. You might even fight with physical, mm. or emotional abuse, mm. and we do not want that. So change the locks. Have someone with you when she comes for her stuff. And when you go for your stuff, are you, Marco? You, you, go, you will go with your stuff. Yeah. Kathomi, when you go for your stuff, also go with someone else because you never know how he's going to react. Girl, yeah. let me tell you something. For me, it's doing it for you. Like, that's the ultimate story. Do it for you. Give those keys back for your own sake. Because sometimes, as an individual, your brain goes to dark places when you're in mourning. <laughs> and don't forget, an actual breakup, a breakup, your brain treats a breakup as if you're mourning for a loss, mm -hmm, like a yeah. death has happened to you. Mm -hmm. That is how your brain interprets that information. Any po form of pain, your brain interprets that as mourning. So that's how it starts to release things that, and then your brain decides that is the day. You've woken up, you're in a bad mood, you're feeling like you're mourning the loss of a man or a woman, and then that's the day you take that advice that I gave you a long time ago, yeah. which is where you go, take a knife, and poke three tires, not four, three. Because he has a spare, he will replace one. Because he has two, he can get help. But if he has three tires broken, even insurance won't touch it. So that's what you do. And you and get a felony charge after you do yes. that. So <laughs> that's what you are avoiding. You're doing it for you. You're avoiding a felony. You're avoiding being crazy and going and toboying things and burning a house. That's what you're doing. You're avoiding it for you. In my particular case, Kwanza, those guys who say, let's break up, Eh? Atikam, let's talk. Let's talk. You, you'll talk to yourself. <laughs> Let me tell you, I'm not showing up at your house. I am never going anywhere near you if they're close in that house. In fact, me, I told them, send them to the orphanage. Distribute them to the homeless. <laughs> I don't want them. And the key, you pack it nicely in a box and send it as a parcel. Boda, boda, ipeleke. Kwa ni na kumone anini. Let me tell you, do it for you. Don't do it for anyone else. Yep. Because, girl, 
man, you might just go crazy. You have a friend? I wanted to say that I have a friend who broke up with a boyfriend and the second day, I think so brought to high in pepper bags. Girl. <laughs> me, I have had a boda boda man call me randomly. <laughs> what is that? What kind of nonsense is that? <laughs>